Uh, hey guys, that's right. I got to visit Space 220. Um, the day that I went, I, I ran out of time and, and I was with friends and I couldn't really film sort of explanation or, or, or more detail of how I uh, got up there. So I figured I'd sort of intersperse the meal with uh, these sort of cutaways, which is almost, uh, <laughs> a, a, almost a week, a few days later. So, Space 220. It is one of the hardest reservations to get on Disney property, right? It is, uh, it's hardly ever in my Disney experience. And if you go, there's usually a line. I lucked out. I got there at two o'clock, uh, about 1.30 ish in the afternoon. Um, there were two other parties in line for the um, standby line. Now what's interesting is, so the standby line or the line that you may see in front of Space 220 near Mission Space is actually for the first come first serve bar service, uh, seating at the bar. Um, they do on occasion have reservations available day of. However, the later you go, the later those might not be available. This particular day, the gentleman who was the host was taking guests for four tops or plus then right in that moment, right around two o'clock, also was able to make a couple of reservations later in the afternoon. Is this a normal occurrence? I couldn't tell you, I have absolutely no idea. I was by myself and was very happy having a seat at the bar. Now, once I was seated at the bar, the bartender offered me the QR code to scan the menu and of course a drink. The first drink I got was the Nebula. Then later in the meal, I got the Big Tang. And even later in the meal, I got the Red Star. They were all very good and did the job. Now, one of the drawbacks of sitting at the bar is that you can't really see the windows, right? The big space windows, the coral reef-esque mo moments uh, of sitting right up against the glass and seeing, uh, seeing space. However, above the bar are, is a mirror, giant mirror, a darkened mirror, um, where you can sort of see things happening in the windows. So, you know, all it takes is a little turnaround and you can see what's happening. You gotta pay attention. <laughs> I mean, if you were sitting at the windows, you still have to pay attention. But sitting above the bar, looking at the bar, you can turn around and see the stuff. One of the coolest things I was unaware of uh, that the bartender made me aware of, Matthew, my amazing bartender, um, was I was totally prepared to have just like a little bite, have their short rib sliders or the calamari, which was, that was my mindset, right? But I had budgeted for more just in case. And if, uh, I was informed that you could have the pre-fixed $55 meal at the bar. So I did that and I got the uh, flat iron steak, which if you think about it, in almost any other Disney restaurant, as I'm here at the Contemporary, a steak like that is gonna cost almost $55 by itself. So I was able to get appetizer and the steak for $55. So my meal consisted of the burrata, a beautiful piece of mozzarella cheese and uh, sort of a baby arugula salad, the flat iron steak with um, beans and potatoes, absolutely delicious, and this, holy moly, this chocolate cheesecake was out of this world. <laughs> Sorry, I had to, I had to. I, I'm ashamed, I'm ashamed of myself. All in all, my bill cost me just over a hundred bucks, which is a lot to spend on yourself. It's a lot, it's a lot, but three drinks, full meal, uh, it, it was a lot, but it was so good. And Space 220 actually ended up being one of the uh, most amazing dining experiences and best food I've had uh, on property in a very long time. Can I recommend Space 220? You sure bet I can. Be sure to take it out next time the opportunity. Keep going on my Disney experience, swing by the restaurant, see if they can get you up there. And if not, if you just wanna sit at the bar, you can do that too. Definitely check it out if and when you have the opportunity. Can't recommend it more. Guys, as always, thank you for your time. Thank you for your attention. Hopefully this video helped you out with some Space 220 information. Keep watching videos. Oh, and right, it's a good day to have a good day. We'll see you next time.